Hey guys, it's Jason here. I have a word to share with you today. Why don't you come with me for a walk? Deuteronomy chapter 31 from verse 7. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the sight of all of Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you shall go with this people into the land that the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them, and you shall put them in possession of it. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. You know, for nearly 40 years, Moses had led the Israelites into the wilderness, to the promised land, towards the promised land that God had sworn to him. You know, and at the very point where the Israelites are about to cross over and into the promised land, Moses was called back home to God. And Joshua was to succeed Moses and lead the people into the promised land. Can you imagine that's like us, all our love life, leading towards something, always in the promise, going towards a promise? And just like Moses, he got to the point he could see the promise across the Jordan. But he never stepped into the promised land. Because he understood, and we have to understand, is any situation, anything that we're going through, anything that we're waiting for God on, the promise, whether that's finances, whether that's cars, our job, our marriage, whatever, our future, whatever we're looking for, we need to understand is the promise of eternal life. The life that God has called us to, that life that God has called us to be with him, which is our salvation, our eternal life. More than anything, more than finances, money, anything that we're hoping or praying for, our number one priority is that security and salvation that God has called us into, just like Moses. That needs to be the most single important thing that we are living for, is living for that eternal life. When Moses had gone back to be with God, Joshua had to lead the people into the promised land. But Joshua didn't go by his own strength. Joshua just didn't go and lead the people on his own. But God said that he would go before him. Because God would lead the way, prepare the way, and take care of everything and set everything in motion before Joshua would come and then the people follow. Sometimes we run headstrong into situations asking God to follow us, but we're supposed to follow him. In verse 8, it says, The Lord goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. So do not fear or be dismayed. And I want to encourage you today, don't be dismayed. Do not have fear. In, but you need to understand that this place here is not our home. Our home is with God. Our home is with God. In Jesus' name.